you guys happy tuesday welcome back to another vlog it's just about 9 45 this morning and i've had a very productive start to the day which feels so good because honestly i'd say like the last two weeks i have felt zero motivation i'll have like spurts of motivation throughout the week but looking at the last two weeks as a whole i have had like very low energy levels and just have felt so tired and like very unmotivated this weather i'm telling you it is just the winter blues are really hitting and it's been chilly so all in all that is really plummeted the energy levels and lack of motivation so today i was like we are getting back to it having a little mini reset so i took care of some laundry i set myself a 10 minute timer this morning and was like let's see how much cleaning i can get done around my apartment and just like tidying up the space makes me feel so good and obviously i love having a nice clean apartment to kick off the day and start the morning but anyways that is what's going on for the day i'm gonna head down do an apartment I can't speak. Do an arm workout in my apartment gym. I had a workout class scheduled for this morning, but I canceled it because I was laying in bed last night and thought the last thing that I would want to do this morning is have a workout smack dab in the middle of my day. Not middle of my day, middle of my morning more so. It's like 10.30 and I just knew that it would take all of the energy out of me because obviously workout classes, you exert so much energy and even though I'll be doing a workout in my apartment gym, I just want to like take it at my own pace, take it nice and slow and chill and yeah. That's kind of the vibe for today. It's like getting my life together slowly but surely and getting some work done and all of that. telling you guys nothing beats the feeling after a workout i feel so much better and a little more motivated so that's good i'm also gonna do my makeup because i have a nail appointment booked for 4 30 today and i usually like to film tiktoks of my nail appointments like little nail vlogs because you guys love those on tiktok and i just feel like doing my makeup because i got a new foundation this is the super stay 24 hour skin tint with vitamin c from maybelline everybody's been raving about this on tiktok and when i was at Target the other day i saw it in my shade and i was like i need to pick it up well i think it's my shade i hope because the other foundations that i have right now aren't super tan or i mean aren't super pale and i'm super pale right now they're all like a little darker i'd say like one or shoot two shades darker because i've got like no sun recently and i desperately need to self tan but i have no self tanner and the other day when i went to the store to get some they were completely sold out so we're working with what we got but this looks like it could be my shade right now oh it's very lightweight which i like kind of like a watery consistency i might have put too much on we shall see but like i was saying before it felt so good to get that workout in this morning and move the body a little bit i'm telling you even if it's just going for like a 15 minute walk on the treadmill even if you aren't feeling like working out it's still something and i guarantee you you will have the energy and motivation to do your entire workout i kind of made a little tiktok spiel about that the other day because it's all about discipline when you get to the gym it's not about motivation because you are not going to wake up feeling motivated every single day but it's the discipline that you really have to have and that's going to like get you to go to the gym or get you to accomplish the goals that you have set for yourself and at the end of the day discipline like self-discipline is really just going through with those promises that you make for yourself showing up even when i don't feel like it is what has helped me with my self-discipline and even if you aren't giving your all maybe you're just giving about 60 percent it's still better than nothing and doing that when you don't feel like it is what's going to get you further in life with your goals and anything that you set your mind to because if you solely just rely on motivation i can guarantee you you will be looking for it your entire life because it's not something that you just have every single day it's something that comes in waves and at the beginning of the year obviously you feel it and that's why a lot of people start their gym memberships and like get into a fitness routine at the beginning of the year because they feel this like burst of motivation but then a lot of people fall off come february or march because they don't have that motivation anymore and that's why it's about self-discipline i should do like a whole podcast episode about it because it's so important to develop that self-discipline not just in fitness but in all areas of your life when it comes to career when it comes to wellness all that so first impressions with this foundation it's definitely very lightweight and light coverage which is what i expected because it is vitamin c and it's a skin tint it's not like a on full coverage foundation don't know if it's my shade i think the camera's making it look a lot less like blended in but 
I promise you, with this mirror right here, it looks a lot more natural. What else was I gonna say? Oh, I have my nail appointment today, and then I'm gonna get some work done before then, because I have some time before I need to head out. And I thought I was gonna go to a gym today that I wanna potentially get a membership at, but I don't know if I'll have time to do that, because obviously it's not like a priority. I can do that tomorrow or something. But I am getting my hair cut tomorrow, and I'm so excited. That's gonna be a whole different vlog. You guys have no idea. I'm keeping the blonde and everything, like, well, I'm naturally blonde, but I'm not doing anything to the color. I'm just getting it trimmed and styled because it has no movement to it right now and it's just kind of like bluntly cut. So I want to get some fresh layers and trim probably like four to five inches off because she definitely needs a trim. It is so long and it's a bit overdue. hours later I just finished up some things for work I have a nail appointment at 4 30 so we're ready for the day well I guess the afternoon but I'm just wearing this crop top from Elwood they have the best basics so freaking cute cargo pants or Abercrombie unfortunately Abercrombie doesn't sell these anymore but petition for them to bring them back because these are like the best cargo pants ever and every time I wear them people are like oh my god where are those from they're like the perfect fit and yeah sadly Abercrombie does not sell this style anymore but I'll try to find something similar and link them for you guys my bag is from Salmont this is been my go-to bag for the last like month it's my favorite i posted this on my instagram story and everyone was like we need the bag details but i just posted a sponsorship with them actually and this is like my go-to it's the best and then my sunnies are from amazon they're just like ten dollar sunnies i think they're so cute i think they come in like a two pack so this is like the tortoise shell one and then a black pair come as well and my shoes are just from 112 they're these really cute neutral style dunks but i'm gonna head on out got a little bit of time and then we'll get these bad boys freshened up i just got to the nail salon and I'm trying to decide what color I'm going to do. I'm going to do some sort of pink, but I don't know if I want to do like a ballet light type of pink or something similar to what I have originally. This is Mod About You OPI. Such a good color. I absolutely loved it, but I did see somebody do this with white chrome on top and it looked so good. So I was thinking about doing that or this really pretty light pink could be super cute. And then I also have this saved. The bummer is that I could not figure out what the color of this one is. I Love it though. I think that's so cute. These nails look so good. I absolutely love this color. We went with like a very light pink and then chrome on top, of course. I missed my chrome nails, so I'm happy that I went with this. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was thinking something more like fun and bright for Valentine's Day, but then I got in there and I was like, mm, I kind of want to stick with something somewhat neutral. So I landed on this and I showed her a picture. I had no idea what I was going to do for like the base, but she told me that this would be the best color and it was OPI. It's a girl, I believe what it was called, but such a good color. So pretty. I love it. This is definitely like a common that I could use like year round and not get sick of because I feel like it's neutral enough and it's so pretty. I'm heading back home, but I'm gonna make a pit stop at the gym that I wanna get a membership at just so I can walk around and see what it's like on the inside because I haven't ever been there yet. And the reason why I wanna do that is just because it would make more sense for me in terms of content for filming for you guys, both on TikTok and YouTube and stuff, but also there's just more equipment to work with there. And it wouldn't be like an expensive gym membership. It's just, what do you call it? Like a normal, typical gym, open gym. And and it'd be nice to like get into the routine of getting out of my apartment too because I find that there will be days that I actually don't leave my apartment, which is completely fine. I love that. I pay for having a gym, you know, but it's nice to have like a big space like that. And I think it'd be like $30 a month, which is nothing compared to like how often I would go and the use that I would get out of it. I just got to make sure that it has like the cleanliness that I would expect, you know, because with gyms like that, 
you never know you never know i just got back home i'm like freezing in my apartment right now it's like an ice box in here i checked the temperature and it's 68 so to me that's cold in my apartment anytime my friends come over they're always like why do you keep your apartment so cold but usually it's at 69 but i actually have the air off or the what's it called the fan off right now so there's like no air circulating it's just generally cold outside so i can feel it in my apartment but i'm just gonna get a few more things done for work today to wrap everything up because anytime i like share links on instagram or on youtube i always like to make sure my amazon storefront and my like to know what are up to date like weekly so i'm just adding a few links to that and creating some posts and everything but i wanted to share a super helpful tool if you're a creative or you have like a link in bio on your instagram or your tiktok this is from pork bun and i want to thank pork bun for sponsoring today's video but they offer a dot bio domain and a link in bio tool so you can customize your dot bio domain and it just makes it so easy for people to see that link in your bio and know exactly what to expect for example mine would be laurensnyder.bio and you can put all of your embedded links within there so maybe a link to your instagram or your youtube channel spotify like to know it amazon storefront all of that and you can just have everything in one place and it keeps it so well organized and also you can password protect links for premium content you can add sensitive content warning Plus every domain is SSL certified and they have five star support back 365 days a year. So you can get your .bio domain from Pork Bun today and their powerful link and bio tool for just $5 for their first year. Just use the code BioBundle23 and I'll have the link down below for you guys. But it's just so nice because everything is so well organized and just so seamless looking and I love it because then more people are gonna obviously click on that link rather than something that's just like a bunch of random letters and everything so definitely be sure to check it out if you have a link in your bio right now on Instagram or on your TikTok and you've been wanting to find something that's just more seamless looking 100% recommend it so again thanks so much to pork bun for sponsoring today's video Tonight for dinner, I just threw together a very simple salad. I did a bed of greens with Brussels sprouts and broccoli that I roasted in the air fryer. Always my go-to. And then I had some tofu to use up. I always like to prep some type of protein for the week. So used the last half of that. And then some, what else? Poppy seed dressing and peppers. Of course, after dinner, my nightly ritual, I have to have some sort of sweet treat. So I just made these chocolate chip cookies. They're actually almond chickpea cookies. This is the cookie dough I got. This is from Hungry Roots. So I wanted to try to make them into cookies because I took just snack on the dough the dough is really really good but i have yet to try them out baked so i just popped them in the air fryer for literally five minutes at 375 and i went to go check on them and i was like dang those are ready to go i was gonna have them in there for like eight but five minutes was perfect so i'm gonna let them cool for a little bit and then we'll try them out honestly i didn't even know there was such thing as chocolate chip chickpea cookies oh that's a mouthful I'll try to say that five times fast i know there's such thing as chickpea brownies i probably will never try those but hey i guess don't knock it until you try it or there's like black bean brownies too. Oh, these are doughy. I guess I could have left them in longer, but we'll give them a try. Oh my god. Wow. I'm okay. I need to grab one that's more done. This one's more done. This genuinely tastes like a regular cookie. Wow. I am shocked. I did not expect to absolutely love this. I thought there was gonna be like a little hint of chickpea. Mm -mm. This feels illegal. They really did something there because this is so good. 10 out of 10 for me. Wow. Each night after dinner, I always do like a little tidy of my kitchen. So I figured I'd take you guys through my little closing shift, if you will, and the different things that I like to do to just make sure that I wake up in the morning to a nice, fresh, clean space. It's always my favorite thing. I always emphasize how important it is to have like a clean environment that you wake up to. It's one less thing that you have to stress about when you wake up in the morning and it just makes your mood so much better. But I'll just do 10 minutes of a quick clean, wiping down the counters, putting the dishes away, washing dishes, loading the dishwasher, whatever I'm doing that night. So I'm gonna set myself this 10 minute timer and we'll start cleaning.
myself my peppermint tea and now I'm gonna take off all of my makeup and do my skincare, aka my favorite part of the night. Also, my hair is ready to be chopped. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow and it's gonna be the best. I just need it. Like, it's at that point, I talked about this in a video before, where it's too long and just because it is so thick, it weighs itself down and the only hairstyle that I ever feel like doing is putting it in a low bun like I did today or just putting it in a braid. Anything honestly to get it out of my face. But what I'm most looking forward to is the fact that it'll be at a length and with like some layers and stuff and more movement to my hair, I'll be able to actually use my shark and play around with like the different attachments because right now I just use the blowout brush and it takes me so so long. It definitely like is a learning curve with that thing and takes me probably three times longer than it would with like the Revlon or using like a hair straightener or something but I know that in the long run it'll be so much better for my hair to use the shark rather than other heating tools but so far I'm loving it. A little update because I know I showed in a recent vlog like using the blowout brush tool with it and I'm still loving it. Like I said though it's definitely like a investment However, it'll be worth it because for one, it's like five hairstyle tools in one, but also it's so much better for your hair since it's not using extreme heat. But I'm gonna wash all this off. I just used this cleansing balm from Verse. I really like this to help take off all of my makeup. And then I'm gonna wash my face and double cleanse it. So I use that to take off all of my makeup. I go in with a cleanser and then I use this oxygen infusion wash for a double cleanser. So I'm just gonna strip all of the face or all of the makeup off the face and get a nice fresh face before I do a face mask or anything. <laughs> Now that I've got fresh clean face, I'm gonna go in with this restorative mask. This is the Oak Essentials restorative mask. Freaking love this so much. It has like honey in it. It makes my skin so dang smooth. But the other day I was thinking of like different content ideas and things for my YouTube channel in specific. But I think this year I wanna start doing more of like the old school YouTube videos that I used to do. Thinking about like favorites videos every month or if I did more like routine style videos and not strictly just vlogs. I think I want to incorporate some more of that on my channel this year. So let me know any feedback you guys have or any constructive criticism also with my vlogs. Like what type of things do you like to see? Is there any part of the vlogs that are very repetitive? Do you like to see the certain montage type of clips? Do you like when there's music behind the things? Like let me know what you prefer to see. I know I get a lot of comments about wanting to see more like recipes, sharing more of my workouts. I'm definitely going to be doing that more so on TikTok. So if you want like like specifics with my workouts, how many reps, how many sets, the different exercises. That will be all over on my TikTok because I don't want all of my content to be like the same across my platforms. I want you to go to different social media platforms of mine and get different value from each. So you go to my TikTok and you have more niche content of like, okay, this is her everyday makeup routine. Okay, this is her leg workout that she does when she's feeling lazy. Or this is her go-to breakfast that she makes every single morning, that sort of thing. And then over on my Instagram is always where I share outfit links and honestly just more like real time in the moment type of content and then on my YouTube channel obviously you guys get more of my personality and just like the whole kit and caboodle of everything and then my podcast is just like my stream of conscious thoughts, advice, things I'm going through, different learnings that I've had, that sort of thing. But yeah, I really am open to any and all constructive criticism when it comes to my vlogs and different things that you guys want to see. Maybe why you follow me and why you like to watch my content and like what keeps you around because that really helps me a lot in terms of what I should put out for you guys. But I do want to start throwing in some more content. Like I definitely want to do a sit down, get ready with me because I've been getting lots of questions on my TikTok to share my everyday makeup routine. And I think that'll be very ben beneficial if I sit down and do like a whole YouTube video of not only showing you how I put on my makeup every day when I wear it or that kind of thing but like generally going into depth about why I like the certain products that I use maybe doing like a little chit chat get ready with me talking about just life and different things in your 20s maybe I could do like a Q&A out of it that sort of thing but I definitely want to throw in some content that reminds you of like old time YouTube because that's what I really miss and I feel like a lot of people right now are searching for newer vloggers 
or just like newer content on YouTube. And I feel like YouTube is gonna be definitely like the platform of 2024. I'm hearing rumblings about that, which I really hope so because to me, YouTube is like my safe place and I build such a community on here and you guys are all literally like my best friends. Like it's just so fun to interact with you guys in the comments and my Instagram DMs. And it's just a lot more of like a cozy environment to me than like a TikTok is. And I just love YouTube so much. So again, any thoughts and different feedback you guys have, please let me know or let me know like what your favorite content to consume is. I definitely wanna do more like week in my life videos. I know I say that routinely, but I do love to also film like the days in my life because you guys get to see from start to finish and everything in between and like my different thoughts throughout the day. And I feel like you get to see more in depth when I do my daily vlogs rather than the week in my life vlogs, but. Again, totally up to whatever you guys prefer and want to see more of. Yeah, that's just my current thoughts. I'm gonna let this sit on my skin for about like 15 to 20 minutes, finish up my tea, start to wind down for the night. It's about 10, 10 I was gonna say, I think it's 10.30, but 10.06. I've been getting to bed around like 10.30, 11.30 recently. Um, hoping and like really trying to get into a better routine of going to bed earlier, so. That'll be my goal for February, but we're just taking it day by day, clearly by now. And I've been really enjoying reading a book before I did bed. I'm reading a really good book right now. So I'm gonna do a little bit of reading and then we'll call it a night. 